Sorry, guys, I had to, uh, had to send a Snapchat. All right. <clears throat> okay. So, um, I already rec oh, actually, I'm going to start recording again. Uh, but before I do, um, I just recorded myself um, cleaning up the edges around here. Um, kind of getting them to where I want them to be, um, and then uh, we're going to go from here. So, let's start recording again. There we go. Okay. So, as of right now, I started printing it in black, which is why these pieces are all black, and these ones are green. Mama. I'm not Mama. I am Dada, and this goes right here. This doesn't even go here. This is the wrong piece. You brought me the wrong piece. It doesn't fit. It doesn't fit. Can you go give this to Mama for me? Go bring that to Mama. Say, so here you go, Mama. What? What, Peyton? Okay, I'll keep this. You want to come up? My daughter is hijacking my stream right now. That's okay. I am not playing games, baby girl. I'm painting. Um... So that's why these are have green on them, because I ran out of filament, so I just had to swap them. It did kind of create a little ridge. I'm missing about four or five layers, which is noticeable, but it I don't think it's too noticeable. It's just, you, you'll be able to, like, see that ridge right there? But again, if you're not looking for it, it's, I think it's fine. It'll be fine. He's getting it for free, so it's okay. All right, the colors I am using. I am going to create this. This is kind of, I really like this. It's like a bony texture. It's, um, I think I did a really good job with this. This is my first time painting, uh, like, bone, and I, I think I did a really good job. It's coming out a lot more. Wait, can I get... Can I get it? To, it's not this white. It's actually more of a a yellow um, and gray. It's not. Let me see if I can change the exposure settings real quick. Camera exposure. That's a little bit more like it. What are you doing? Oh shit, that is blown the fuck out now. I'll do six, yeah. Okay. Nope, we don't touch that. Where's your toy? Your toy fell. Here you go. Alright, so how I'm going to handle this, what I did with this one is I actually glued it all together. And then I painted it. I'm not going to do that this time. Um, instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the individual pieces. That way I can get a nice even coat. Um, and then I'll glue them all together. Um, so it should be a lot easier um, to do it this way. So we will start with these ones as they have the most amount of paint that needs to be going down. The colors that I'm going to be using are... These are all bought from Walmart. They're just regular craft paint. Apple Orchard. Uh, some sort of black plaid that I can't really see the name of. Because it's just old paint. Then we have Winter White. Medium Gray. 
and then we have yellow light. So those are the, these are the only colors that I'm going to do, and I'm going to create this. Actually, there is one more color, um, but it's I'm, I don't have it yet. Hold on one second. Let me go grab that. Ugh. I'm talking and I'm muted. <laughs> I just showed you my brushes. Um, and uh, this is going to be probably for another 45 minutes just because at some point I'm going to have to let these guys. Um, hello? Hello? My daughter's pretending to call me. Uh, let them dry for a little bit before I move on to the next step. Okay. So we're going to use a lot of white. Lots of white going to be used. We're going to do a little bit of green. Those are going to be my two base colors, white and gray. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over. I'm going to take the white. I'm just going to slab it on. I'm getting a very thick coat of white going. Um, because I, I need it to, you know, block out any of the uh, green and black. The black's not too bad um, if it shows through a little bit, but that green can't be shown through. Uh, I mess up the whole color. What are you doing? Just print sorry, not printing, painting inside Mama. all of these holes. Hey, babe, can you give her my iPad?
Hello. Now, you might be wondering why I didn't sand it. I actually don't need to. Um, I have my printer set up where I like the quality of detail. I think it's pretty, um, pretty good. You don't see a lot of layer lines. Um, so yeah, I think it, it looks smooth. Um, so I don't really, I don't think I need to sand it. Um, I didn't sand the first one that I did. I clearly haven't sanded this one. So, if you look in here, there's green. I don't know how, how to show you, but there's green inside there. So, I'm just going to go one size smaller. And I am going to just go uh, plug it in. Yeah, it uses a type C. Hold on. There you go. I'm just going to push. Oh, wait. There you go. It just needs a, uh, yeah. Just paint it in here. I'm trying so hard not to touch the other paint. Is it still wet? I'm not sure if you guys can hear it, but um, that noise in the background is my other printer. And uh, I'm doing another Destiny print. Uh, this is 
That one takes six days though. So yeah, it's fucking crazy. I don't know why it's taking forever. Um, it's probably something to do with the settings or something, but I don't know. Or maybe it's just a way more detailed print than the original one that I put. I don't know. Alright, <clears throat> I'm going to put this over here to dry, start working on this one. <laughs> Again, this is just the base layer, this pure white you're probably not even going to be able to see. Um, this is just kind of... I'm going to do two or three layers. Not of, of just the white, but um, after this original base layer dries off. Um, so I'll probably end the stream. And then I'll... Uh, once I come back... Uh, or once all this dries, I'll come back and... Uh, I'll start streaming again. Um, and that's when I do, I'll do the, uh, the additional layers of it. But I just, I just need a, a, a base layer of white to, uh, to really be good. Also, not being really particular with which way I uh, my brush strokes go, <clears throat> just because it, it gives that uh, I feel like it gives a little bit more of a a bone texture when you don't have everything going in nice straight lines. Um, just looks a little bit more organic in my eyes. So, yeah, there's that. Let's do the other side of this now. I hope this is a good uh, angle that you guys can see what I'm really doing. I mean, it's a big enough piece that uh, it should be fine. The trickiest part, by far, is not going to be any of the pieces that I've painted so far. It's not going to be this piece. It's not going to be that piece. The trickiest piece will be this one. Because the ghost, which is the sphere, the actual ghost itself, um, is black. And because this is the hive ghost, 
everything else is white. <laughs> so, as you can see, it's white, but the sphere inside is black. That's probably going to be the trickiest part. Um, making sure none of the white gets on the black paint. I am going to paint it. I know it is black, but I am still going to paint it. Um, at least once. as much as I'm going to be able to do right now on this one. I'm going to come back. This one's almost dry. I'm sure you can probably tell that I didn't go make it completely white. I mean, I did, but it's not pure white. Um, as you can see, I mean, it looks pretty white, but um, it's not. There's green coming through up here. There's black coming through down here, which is fine for right now. Um, that's fine for right now, okay. because I'm gonna, I gotta go back and, uh, 
add more color to it. Um, this one is just super runny. I might switch out the whites. My white is just super runny for whatever reason. As you can see, I'm already getting paint on here. My goal is to carefully paint without getting any white or as little white as possible on this uh, this little ghost. Now it's not always gonna be perfect as you can see, but that's why I'm gonna go paint over it with black. Again, I'm just getting my first coat on so it doesn't have to be super um, thick. Uh, that'll help you know, help me in the long run. I know sometimes super thick first bases are really good. Um, first coats uh, super thick are really good, but in this case, I'm going to use the, the color of the, um, the actual print itself to help me out. So I don't need it to be super thick. Um, because again, I'll be going over it with more white, it, but it'll be tinted white. Um, it'll be like a yellow white, green white. I'm gonna go over it with those types of whites, kind of combining my whites and greens and yellows. Trying really hard to keep this in the camera for you guys.
Okay. That's that one done. <clears throat> one more. This is going to be super easy. Just got to paint the button. <laughs> oh, this feels white. Now, I tried doing a pure white for this one, uh, and I just didn't like the look of it. I actually, um, I thought it was too, it looked too uh, perfect, too, too new. It didn't look like real bone, so I actually went back and added a lot of green um, to it, and a lot of uh, yellow to the white and then went right back over my freshly painted white which is why I'm not too concerned of painting it pure white because I know it's just not going to look good um, for the effect that I'm going for so I'm okay with a little bit of the color underneath showing um, it won't be showing by the end of it um, <clears throat> it'll just look like white uh, or like this like you could never tell that this was blue right just couldn't tell it was black but like if it was blue you wouldn't have known just like with this one you're not going to know that it's gray or green I should say So, I'm going to let these sit to dry, and then uh, we'll come back to that when they dry. So, this is going to take probably 30 minutes, so I'm not going to leave the stream running for 30 minutes. I'm just going to kind of end it here. Uh, but I will uh, I will start streaming again when, uh, when these are dry, um, and I'll start streaming the painting process again. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit.